Letting small things bother you is the epitome of bad judgment compared to the option of moving on with your day, which is obviously better and smarter. Allowing trifle to bother you leaves you in a constant state of judgment impairing irritation because daily life is a constant stream of life's truffles. Slow internet, bad drivers, customer support agents who don't care or think, traffic jams, drivers who park too close to the line in parking lots, airplane passengers who use both armrests, cars and equipment that break down, crowded spaces, people who make every conversation about themselves, software upgrades that make things worse instead of better, gym rats who grunt loudly and don't wipe down the machine they just used, customers ahead of you waiting for 20 minutes and then not knowing what to order when it's their turn? What, me? No, I don't let small things bother me. <laughs> Fortunately, being annoyed by life's trifles is a choice. Train your mind to note your outsized responses. In that moment, take some deep breaths, wrap up your annoyance, set it aside, and focus your mind back on navigating your day. On occasion, instead of moving on with your day, sit in your feeling of aggravation. What is its true source? Is it simply a habit or are there underlying issues like addictions or unhealthy values or whatever, may you, whatever you may need to explore as the possible cause of your mind's susceptibility to trifle? Healthy relationships require skillful navigation of trifle because when a relationship hits a rocky patch, it's too easy to mistake small issues for big ones. Chewing food loudly, bathroom habits, repeating the same story, you can live with those until something big like money, sex, or childcare weighs on your relationship. Then all those small things start bothering you way more. They feel right in your face. Take care of this issue before it affects your relationship. Learn to prevent small things from getting artificially big or getting in the way of being a good partner in your relationship. With practice, you may notice that even things that seem big in the moment on reflection aren't a big deal. Perfect example, losing a job. Nearly always, it's something from which you can fully recover. When I lost my job, I found it helpful to intermix my breathing practice with exploring unsettling feelings like failure, shame, and embarrassment. Sitting in those feelings normalizes them and makes them less intense. It delivers insight into concerns that may turn out to be more perceived than real. My name is Rob Katsuno, originator of the Direct Your Mind system for moving your life forward. To learn about the four key decision-making steps, please click here. If you'd like to hear the origin story of the Direct Your Mind system, click there. And please click subscribe now before you forget.